Yes. Thank you so much for being here. Sure. Um, so I have a question, uh, I guess not a factual question or a question about your work, uh, more of a personal question regarding your work. Good. Uh, do you consider apologetics, actually let me back up. Christians often say that our religion is about a relationship with God or a relationship with Jesus through the Holy Spirit. Do you find that your work is part of that relationship or outside of that relationship? So what's the interplay there? And what have okay. been benefits and possible um, hurdles that you've had to overcome in that interplay? Right. I think that uh, the question was, what is the relationship between the discipline of apologetics and the personal relationship that one has with God or with Jesus Christ and is there a tension here? How do we relate these? This really is an age-old question about the relationship between faith and reason, I think. And here I have found it very helpful to make a fundamental distinction between knowing Christianity to be true and showing Christianity to be true. I think that the fundamental way in which I know Christianity is true is not through argument and evidence, but it is through that personal relationship with God made possible by the Holy Spirit. Paul says when we cry, Abba, Father, the Holy Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And so I think that the fundamental way in which we know Christianity is true is through the inner witness of the Holy Spirit. And this is available to every Christian at every place and every time in history. So that those who live in times and places where, say, they have no library resources, they may be illiterate, they don't have the leisure time to study the evidence for the resurrection, they can know and know with confidence that Christ is risen from the dead simply on the basis of the inner witness of God's Holy Spirit to their heart. That's how we know Christianity to be true, and that then is confirmed by evidence and arguments. When it comes to showing Christianity to be true, though, there we're concerned, how do we prove to another person that what we know is true? And this will involve giving arguments and evidence to the unbeliever in order to show him that Christianity is true. But even here, it's not done apart from the Holy Spirit. Rather, you present these arguments and evidence, trusting the Holy Spirit to use them as you lovingly present them to draw the unbeliever to Christ. So in both knowing and showing Christianity to be true, both the Holy Spirit and reason and evidence are at play, but the emphasis is rather reversed in those two areas.